Hey, what's up, Good Life? Thanks for joining me for today's 128 moment. I got several things that I wanna to touch on today, but please stick around to the very end to hear a small moment where God revealed and reminded me of a very big truth. The first thing I wanna to touch on today is this. Please invite a friend and join us this weekend as we celebrate the good news of the cross and the empty tomb. We got a couple opportunities where you can do that. We'll reflect on the cross in our Good Friday service tomorrow at 6 p.m. right at the church. And then on Easter Sunday, we will celebrate the resurrection of our Savior in two services at 9.30 and 11 right there at the church. Now this Sunday, construction has progressed to the point where we'll be able to again offer full Good Life Kids ministry for toddlers through fifth grade. For the last two weeks, we could only do the little guys, but we were able to do full Good Life Kids ministry this Sunday. And also, come out this Sunday because this Sunday's sermon is not only focused on the Easter story, it's also tied directly into our ongoing family series where we're unpacking what it means to be His people who are called and living for His purpose. Second thing is this. We could use some help. We could use some help converting the space from construction mode to church mode. We're asking for your help this Friday morning at 11 a.m. right at the church where with many hands, we don't think it'll take very long to get done. With your help, we'll be able to be ready, not only to, to be ready to go for the Good Friday service, but we'll be all set up for Easter Sunday services as well. If, if you're able to come out and help, just let us know by emailing us at info at goodlifefl.com. The third thing is this. Just let me give you a quick update on the construction project. Project Now, this week has been a little shortened because of Easter services, but plumbing and electrical rough-ins were completed. Uh, the ceiling grid in the main room is installed, and we should be on the other side of all of our rough-in inspections for plumbing and electrical and framing early next week, Monday or Tuesday, Wednesday at the latest. And, and while this construction pro project is going to increase our seating capacity, it's going to accomplish doing those things, increasing seating capacity, uh, providing new kid and office space, a new lobby, and also new additional restrooms. We're really doing all this not just to have more rooms, but to make more room for more people to hear the good news and for more people to share life. So last Sunday, we invited you to prayerfully consider how you will invest in this project. We've given you three different ways. Uh, one is by praying for the project as it goes on and for the people the Lord will bring as a result of the space that we're making. The second is, is by giving above and beyond your normal giving, whether that's a one-time gift or ongoing monthly payments over a series of time. And then the third thing is this, by serving on the project to help complete flooring, cleaning and prep, or stage and technology, or by serving on a team to be ready to welcome our new guest when they arrive. We passed out those project pledge cards last Sunday, and we're asking our church family to prayerfully consider how the Lord is going to lead you to participate. And if you would, please just return those completed cards to the giving box of the church by, by Sunday, May 1. Now, and lastly, as we reflect on Easter and as we navigate this construction process, I just want to share with you a neat little story that illustrates an enduring truth. This past Sunday, two of our church members, uh, Vernon Williams and Frank Logano, they came out to build two rolling counters for our new lobby, a kid's check-in counter and a next steps information counter. These, these counters were built out of donated handmade desktops that were donated by Derek and Miranda Kramer and their family. But then the sides of these counters were gonna be the reused gray shiplap boards that had been on our old lobby wall. We took those down and wanted to reuse them. The guys built the frame of the counters ahead of time and then they cut and attached the shiplap boards at the church. And as, the, as that day was drawing to a close, there was this moment when it looked like we just might run out of those recycled shiplap boards. But you know what? There was just enough. There was not one full board left over at the end. And then to complete it, they needed one more piece of matching trim. And you know what we had? We had the exact piece to the exact length that they needed sitting in our storage trailer that had been left over from the original install of the shiplap wall. Now, I need you to know that shiplap wall was installed in the summer of 2019. We had no idea of everything that would happen between then and now. No idea of all the changes that would come to our world and to our church during that time. But you know what? God did and God does and God always will. In Matthew 6, 8, Jesus said, your father knows what you need before you ask him. And every time I look at those check-in counters in the years to come, I'm going to be reminded that three years before we knew we needed them, God provided the exact amount of boards that we would need. 
Good Life Church, God knows your needs before you ask him. So you can live with hope, you can live with peace, and you can live with confidence that you serve a heavenly father who provides for his children. Hope you guys will join us this this Friday at 6 as we celebrate the cross in our Good Friday service and join us Sunday morning at 9, 30, and 11 as we celebrate the empty tomb in our Easter Sunday services. And until then, let's go be a people who will love enough.